Go ahead. Okay. So in this individual, he has obviously a flat foot. We consider this a mobile, flexible, not rigid. There's many forms of flat foots. In his situation, as you can see as well, the medial column and excessive hypermobility, we consider this as we can see, if you may move to the front, you can see how much motion of the whole ray of the first is moved. I'm not sure if you can see what I see. Can you see what I do? Mm -hmm. Can you see the elevation, right, in comparison to its neighbor? So the whole column is moving as one unit, as you can see, all the way to the instep, right? In his situation, a beam fell, I think, about 300 pounds and required a lot of surgery along the instep, which we will show you the x-rays shortly. As we move the big toe, the whole column doesn't move because the entire column has been fused. As I'm trying to move, there's nothing. Above all, the alignment and the arch elevation has been achieved as well in comparison. So if we may shoot this side, we can see more of this in comparison to before of this. Let's see the x-ray fairly quick, if you can zoom in. So basically in a nutshell, as we can see the plates and the screws, and you can see the alignment of this bone called the talus shooting down to the big toe, everything is straight line. And some people consider this Murray's angle, they call it as such. But nonetheless, we had to use bone grafts on them, and everything is where it needs to be. All the bones were fused, as you can tell, and solid. Along the other views, you can still see somewhat remnants of the bone graft, and this is about three months, I believe, but they're incorporating, and the bone cells are migrating, so they're not as white. White is bad. Total, total white is bad. We, co we consider it as mobilization of the bone, which is dead bone. And you can see incorporation of the bone and beautiful contour and rigidity. Excellent, beautiful, thank you.